Hey everyone, Stephen from the Flyby Guys. Hope you're all doing well. It's the end of February and it's a Monday night and I'm heading to try to find the Aurora Borealis. Okay, let's just back up a second. Before we continue this video, I want to say a couple of things that have been going around the social media platforms over the past uh, 24 hours. And that is that people have been asking that is it safe to fly when it's KP6 or KP7 or even KP8? And the simple answer is yes, it is safe to fly. And you're going to find that out when you continue watching this video. Uh, I had very strong satellite. I had no losses, no interference. It didn't have, didn't affect the flight at all. And there are airliners flying all the time when the KP is high. So uh, if it doesn't affect them, it certainly will not affect you. So even if UAV forecast tells you that uh, it's not safe to fly, it's just bullshit. Okay, uh, so before we go, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because this has to get out further. We have to tell people that, that it's safe to fly when it's, when it's uh, this KP level because uh, you have to capture this if you have the chance because it is absolutely beautiful. So like and subscribe to the channel. We own the drones, we fly the drones, and we love the drones. So let's continue. Because there's a prediction that it will be visible from Helsinki this evening. It was very visible last night. I only realized when I was actually in bed, so I couldn't, couldn't, I didn't want to get up and go and look for it. So I've been watching tonight and apparently it will be visible. So I'm going to go and look for the body Ellis and I'll be filming it with a Mavic 3 which I just got back today because it's been in Germany for weeks uh, and that's working so I just got it back so I have to do some maintenance on that this week so um, but I'll be flying it tonight to see if we can see the Aurora Borealis So I've come down to the beach area here uh, it's a place called Hiezo and there are actually lots of people down here just standing in the dark. <laughs> it's like something out of uh, Night of the Living Dead because they're just standing still with their heads up waiting because it's not here yet uh, and it could be coming anytime. So there are clouds in the sky, a, a few very very small clouds, really small and that's kind of deceiving because you can think that that is of the Aurora Borealis. Uh, so I'm going to set up a drone because this can literally just switch on any time. Okay, just, but I just switched off the video. It just started. It just started over there. And people, the people who just arrived there just started screaming. That's how I knew because they started screaming. A light came up in the sky. <laughs> Holy sh**. Right, I need to get the drone out. Whoa. Amazing.
that was <laughs> that was unbelievable. It really was incredible. Night mode on the Mavic 3 is amazing. That's the first time I've ever used it. And of course, what a memorable time to use it or something like that. I didn't put the mic on and record because I didn't have time because it literally switched on and I had to just put the drone up and, and, and capture what, what you've seen. So, um, but to hear people be emotional when that switches on is unbelievable. I hope you liked the footage. Uh, it was really quite quite special I think, especially for this part of Finland because we're in the south of Finland so we don't really get this very often so it's a very rare occasion. Thank you everyone, like and subscribe to the channel, we'll see you in the next video, fly safe.